While the theocratic regime in Iran desperately struggles to survive under the weight of existential threats and mounting crises, the main Iranian opposition Mujahideen Khalq MEK continues to become stronger and more determined to overthrow the mullahs. This year the MEK celebrated its 56th anniversary, making it by far the most enduring political organization in Iran's modern history. On September 5, 2021, the MEK held its biennial session and after hours of debate and deliberation, the organization's members enthusiastically re-elected Zahra Mejikhi as their secretary general for another two years. The biennial session was held simultaneously at the MEK's headquarters in Ashraf III, Albania, Paris, Berlin, Stockholm, London, The Hague, and Zurich. Emblematic of the MEK's genuine efforts to establish freedom, democracy, and equality for the Iranian people, its central council is comprised entirely of women. This year, in a remarkable show of the MEK's resilience, Ms. Merihi introduced a new cadre of competent leaders made up of a younger generation of women destined to lead the democratic opposition into the future. In contrast to the regime's attempts to fall back on the old guard to protect its failing rule, the MEK has paved the path for an impressive number of young members to take the reins and guarantee freedom, democracy, and a brighter future for Iran. Three of these women were introduced by Ms. Merihi as co-secretaries, while six others were brought in as new deputies, all in their 30s and 40s. To many Iranians fed up with four decades of misogynist rule by the mullahs, the televised scenes of women taking charge in the strongest opposition movement to the mullahs have proven to be truly inspirational. A flood of messages were sent by women, political activists, and political prisoners inside Iran celebrating the MEK's 56th anniversary and congratulating the re-election of Ms. Merihi. At the biennial session in September, a number of senior MEK officials and members delivered remarks about their decision to re-elect Secretary General Merihi. Madam Maryam Rajavi, President-elect of the National Council of Resistance of Iran and CRI, also spoke at the event and praised the MEK's leadership for guiding the organization through some of Iran's most tumultuous times in recent memory. Madam Rajavi added, Diktatoriya Sheikh ham ba sarkub bimaqfe va kardar pevaste shaitan sazi dar chahar dahe guzashte be tor mustamar talash kard in junbesh ro nabud kone. Amma shikast khord. Hala mujahedin استوار و سر موضع و پا بر جا البته اصا آینده دارتر آماده تر و قوی تر در میدان نورد سرنگونی دیکتاتوری مذهبی یک مقاومت میهنی و گسترده رو شکل دادند For her part, Ms. Merichi said the position of Secretary General and assuming other responsibilities in the organization are rooted in a half century of sacrifice and suffering in the face off against the monarchic dictatorship, the religious fascism, and a multitude of reactionary and colonialist conspiracies. It is the story of a movement that has advanced while making constant choices and paying the necessary price. Today, the MEK is more resolute and optimistic than ever before to overthrow the tyrannical regime in Iran and to reintroduce the Iranian nation into the international community as a peace-seeking and productive partner.